Hey y'all, back again, another Christmas craft. This time I made a white snowman. This one's for me. I think he turned out cute. He's not perfect, but he's cute. So, here we go. Well, I was showing y'all I wasn't going to use, but I thought I was going to get both wreaths done today, and I ran out of time. So, I did use that white, fluffy, soft ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and one of the wreath forms from Dollar Tree, and burlap there from Dollar Tree. I didn't end up using those, because they're for the other one. <laughs> that might be for the other one, and that is the other one. <laughs> so, do that a different day. That ribbon is so soft and pretty. That was $4 for the big roll on sale. I'm just putting it around the wreath form and hot gluing it to each other. <laughs> Glue it to itself and cover up wire as best I can. It took me a little doing because I'm so discombobulated. But I finally managed to get it all wrapped. I had to figure out how to go around the hands, and then had to figure out the neck part, but I get it. I think it comes together in the end. Them little snowman wreaths are cute, and two for twenty-five is a good deal. I hope I get the other one done soon. I tried today, and I couldn't find all my stuff. You see that junk over there? That's not even half of my crafting supplies. And I tried to separate stuff out the other day. But of course I forget something. And then I don't know which bag it's in. And it's getting on my nerves y'all. I got mild OCD. And this is just driving me crazy. I'll be so glad when I get out in my little building. <laughs> I'm going to have to go through all them bags again. I reckon I don't know how I'm going to separate it anymore though. But we're making progress on the building. We're getting there. I actually need to do a update video on it. I had a little extra there, but I just decided to stick it on around on the wreath. <laughs> Be a little extra snowy on that side. That's my new craft table my baby got me. It raises up. We're hoping it'll help my back because it's been really hurting from doing it on my little drawing table because I have to bend over so far. I may even need to raise it up a little bit more. But it didn't hurt nowhere near as bad today. I had to figure out how to go around a little hat thing. But the top was easier because I'd already did the bottom. It's coming together. I didn't have as much left over on that one. Okay. Got that part done. And I wanted to put his little scarf on him. I'm doing neutral, natural colors out in the SOB for Christmas. If I make it out there in time. <laughs> but I'm going ahead and making me some stuff. Because I'm hopeful I'm going to make it. So it's not going to be really colorful. Anything I make for out there. But Now our house is, you know, traditional red, green, white. All that color. So if I make something for it, it'll be a little more colorful. But I like how this turned out, how simple it is. I think it looks cool. I'm trying to get that ribbon to lay how I wanted it. I decided I liked it better folded in half and a little bit skinnier after it got to that part. I just hot glued it together again. Them poor scissors had hot glue all over them. I'm glad it just comes off when it dries. <laughs> My table did too. I'm initiating it good. It'll have paint all over it for too long. Okay, I decided I wanted that one not to hang over on the body, but in the middle. So, put a little more hot glue right there to make it go where I wanted it to. I don't know how much camp uh, crafting I'll get done next week because we're going camping. It's going to be fun. I'm going to try to take a few little things I can do so I can maybe get a video out. We'll see. I hope I can. Won't mean nothing real big because I don't need to take a whole bunch of stuff in the camper. But maybe some little things I can do. 
I noticed after I did all this that I left the hat a little bit long on this one side over here on the bottom. I'll probably cut that off. Make it even. I didn't even notice it when I was doing it. Oh well. I'm still new to this. I'll get there. I know there's probably a better way to do the hat. But I couldn't think of it at the time. And this turned out okay for me. Now I'm doing the top part of it. Just adding some more burlap up there. I think it's cute. That's a pretty good bit of burlap you get from Dollar Tree in that little roll, too. Had to get another glue stick. <laughs> Had to do that twice. <laughs> I forget to bring them over closer to me. When I was at my little table, everything was right there, but uh, it ain't right there now, so I got to figure that part out, too. Them little scissors came in handy today. <laughs> And that part looks pretty good. And there it is. See, it's getting there. And then I love this funky ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And then that whole big old bag of pine cones. That's a good deal because you get a bunch of them things. That, that ribbon just, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks cool. It looks like a, a nature thing to me. <laughs> I'm just going to put some on one side of the hat up there. Might be a little strange, I know. Sometimes I am. <laughs> but I think it ends up looking cool. I just measured it out and cut it off. And I'm going to hot glue it to the back of that. I had to figure out exactly where I wanted it to go. Uh, I think I saw somebody else use some white kind of that ribbon for something. That just looks so cool. I'm going to use it for something else, I'm sure, because I like it. Once we get back from camping, I'm going to have to really get my crafting done. Get busy. <laughs> Y'all will be on to Valentine's Day before I get done with Christmas, probably. I'm a little slow. I hope I get faster at this as I go. I should. And I know it'll help once I'm out where I can put all my stuff where I know where it is. That, that'll that definitely help. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hot gluing some of them little pine cones up there on the hat. I thought that made it look cute. Give me all a closer look. <laughs> And then I decided I wanted some pine cones on the scarf too. So I can get rid of all the glue strands. And I could see that part over the front of the wreath and I didn't like that. So I was gluing it down. So you can't see it from the front. One more little spot. Okay. Now I'm adding the pine cones to the scarf. <laughs> some of them are hooked together as two and some of them ain't. And I like that better. So, But you gotta use three. Can't just use two. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> I think that makes the scarf look better. All the hot glue strands. I used the hair dryer to try to get rid of them. It helps some. Okay. Got them little stick things. A big old bag over there from Amazon. If I did another one of these, I'd just paint the little hands brown. The sticks, they work on that side. Y'all get them spam calls. I hate them things. They worked on that side over there, but this side over here, they didn't want to stick. And I redid them. And if they come off, I'm just going to paint it all brown. I 
probably should have used some uh, different kind of glue. I can't use E6000 because of the smell. I'm going to have to see if, if I can use super glue if it bothers me. Maybe it won't, and then I can use it with the hot glue. Now, I painted some of that antiquing stuff on it to make the hot glue sort of blend in. And it worked, but I got to redo it now on that one side since I had to redo <laughs> But they're sticking this time, so hopefully it'll stay. And dry the paint. Now, trying to figure out how I want to hang it. I end up putting it long ways because I don't want to see it up over the top of the reef. I want to just see the hat. So I just hot glue that on there, and it makes a good hanger. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And if you like my little snowman, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll talk to y'all soon.